Hello everybody, um, this is DV the Digital Hero, and um, today is uh, just a, just a, a, well, I'm here to basically show off that the two bosses that I could not fight on stream. As we can remember that when I was doing this on stream, uh, two bosses actually continuously crashed on me. Um, this is the one that was in the pyramid. Um, and today I also have with me as a co-commentator, uh, Dr. Snorlax. Say hello. Hey, everyone. Hopefully they'll be able to hear you just fine. I'm going to turn it up just a tad just to make sure. And I'll double check probably. We might, we might take a small commentary break after this first boss here. I was able to record the two bosses. Um, after the first round, I realized that the controller on or the keys on the uh, new computer had reset to default, Oof. and so I had to basically be like, "Okay, I need to switch all this stuff to stuff that's within finger reach," <laughs> basically, <laughs> because I kept trying to hit tab while having my buttons over here is like impossible. Shift is fine. Because it's right next, and C is fine, and so is the A and S keys. Which is why I use them. Basically. Yeah, that's nothing wrong with that. They're always like the basic keys in apparently every game I've ever played. True. I mean, honestly, when I was playing, when I first played like Game Boy games on the computer, that was like the, the default keys I would actually, and NES games, those were like the default keys I would actually go to before I think they even became standard. With most games. It's like the Z and X key were like my, the buttons I would go to is like my prime default. The only one that was weird was when my Super Nintendo games, I would set it up to be like the ASDF keys. Because I kind of got used to that. Also, this boss is interesting. It actually has a shoot 'em up segment where you actually get to dodge around and do this. I actually kind of like this boss. This is the I think this is the closest. Genie in a pyramid. Yep, genie in a pyramid boss. Yep. And this face. <laughs> I know, huh? This that that this part was a pain to try to figure out how to dodge half the time. End up losing a lot of my hits here. The first phase is also a pain, but for like a different reason. Like the, the like the like those eyes are just hard to time sometimes. Right there on this phase, and then we have phase. Um, I'm gonna call it phase four, even though it might just be phase three. This phase is annoying. It's a, it's a gigantic. Okay, so we went from a, so, so we went from Aladdin to no. Pretty much, it's basically it's basically almost fighting yourself because it's basically a Cuphead. And now I think is this the part where he throws where he throws it off? No, okay, no, he's still using this attack. That makes sense. This attack, I mean, this attack one is actually a cluster, but this ain't the only thing that happens with the first attack, which we'll see in a little bit. I, I, I hated losing two hits to the first attack, so I was just like, no. I try to use my Toho dodging skills and then realizing that I'm still technically terrible at Toho, so. <laughs> uh, but let's see. I would use the. There is the and this is where it throw, the, threw me off. It's like, wait a sec, what? What the heck? I'm just switching over to a different attack. He has like three different attacks, I believe, unless there's a fourth one he's never used. But I think he has three different starting attacks. Which is pretty nifty. Anyone watching 
watching this, but I hope you can hear me. I'm sorry, my mic is crap. Okay, uh, yeah, I was about to ask. I was about to ask. Yeah, this part's tricky, too, because those mummies... Those mummies are sometimes in the worst possible places when you're trying to dodge. I can see that they're basically a troll in this. Yep, pretty much. And then this part. This part was the part that stumped yeah. me for like the longest time in this fight. Why is that? I'm just curious. Well, just like basically I mean, just getting shot off. Weird of yourself in some games. Yeah. I, I mean, for the most part, it's not that bad, but it it's just a lot of projectiles. And here's his third attack. Homing, oh, homing Jesus. kitties. And then I forget. No. And then I forget <laughs> that I can use the. And then half the time I forget. <laughs> What, what? And the head he throws at you seems like a side attack. Yeah. Skull. Yeah, the big skull that he always throws, yeah. He, no matter which attack it is, he always throws that skull. Let's see, several different attacks. Mm-hmm. I, I know games aren't supposed to have an easy boss, but for crying out loud, really, the, the main boss, the main boss should not have no more than maybe two, two, two side attacks and one main. True. But this game, I think this game's actually pretty well designed as is, though. It's just, I, like, the only complaint I can say about it is I kind of wish there was equality between the number of bosses and sure. stages. AKA, they should just put in more stages. They should have had like a stage that led up to each of these bosses. Basically. That way I could have a platforming section where I was like in uh, the pyramids or something. Cause that'd be fun. I'm gonna accidentally you getting that attack to pop up. And then technically just a lot of this attack kind of threw me off guard. Like one, there's projectiles coming from the hat. I did not notice that until like I think like maybe the third or fourth fight against this thing. And then I also did not notice that he had the the shot the shots coming from the side either. I almost beat him that I almost beat that phase that time. But yeah. Oh, and then thing cat and then yeah, that was that was just terrible. Oh, I'm still going with this run though, even though I already got hit twice. Oh, never mind. There it goes. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, yeah, Doc's mic's not the greatest, so technically, if we don't hear him for a while, it's probably just because of that. Hopefully, hoping that we'll be. Uh, I'm gonna double check to make sure we can hear everything as is after uh, this boss just to make sure because it's the first time I've tried doing anything similar to this ever doing co-commentary through discord uh, via yeah so this is all basically a big experiment to see if this can work to see if I can find a way to Enhance the life of uh, basically videos like this that I might have to make a supplement videos. But since, um, but while Doc's basically getting his microphone back up, um, let's see. Yeah, this boss is a pain, and like I said, I just kind of wish there was more stages because. A game, a game like this is basically a run and gun. Also has like a lot of really good stage. Could have a lot of really good stage design as well. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely see why this stage is uh. Oh my god. What? Oh no! I just I, it, when it finally calls me out, I'm like, 
load up the, the ass all the it shooting projectiles and then the Pinocchio version of yourself shooting back. Yeah, it's a pain. Uh, several Disney movies rolled into one. Pretty much. We got like Aladdin, we got... <laughs> we got Aladdin, we got... Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Now, we haven't even seen the final phase of this fight yet. Oh my god. There's still one more phase after that. <laughs> We're getting there. Yeah, um, just as a, a note. It's not, it's not just my mic, everyone. It's my internet. It's, it's what you get for having the uh, $10 internet package from Xfinity. Oh, wow. It sounds cheap, yeah, but also terrible. Right it sounds cheap, but also terrible, but yeah. Yeah, it's what Xfinity calls the low-income internet package for families. Hmm. How fast is it? They updated it like they said they did. It, it, they upped it a bit, but it's not all that too fast. I would, I would have to do a connection speed uh, test and from my computer and see what it is. True. I don't want to disconnect my phone from my Wi-Fi because good old mobile data will be will be eaten up, and I will have no spare data to use in case of power outages. Yeah, I'm already out of spare data on my phone this month. I'm hoping to get the uh, next. I'm hoping maybe next this time I'll. I might have to. I may or may not have to ask my. Uh, my dad, who usually pays me for yard work, if he can get me a, uh, like, a card, basically, and take it out of my money. Hopefully a $55 card, so that way I don't have to worry about data limits, and then I can just go all out. I even have some hotspot if I really need it. And I got hit by a saw. And then I got hit by the wall. Eh, no, because Seriously. apparently this game because apparently this game is trying to be Toho at the same time, so I can technically see why this might have crashed my uh I could technically kinda see why this may or may not have crashed my kept crashing why this kept crashing my game. Look at that background. Oh my god, I can see the slowness. Yeah. It, it was kind of lagging. It was kind of lagging on me when I was recording this too. When I first started recording. Well, it's not, no, it's not just you. It's like I said, it's my internet speed. Oh yeah. The lags. Even when I had to reduce my video quality to the lowest possible when moves stream, which is 160p. I do that sometimes, Mike. I do that sometimes as well. I end up having to do. I, I'm thankful. That either with my either with mobile data or whatever, I can technically try to watch two streams at the same time. Or sometimes I'm actually lucky, and my internet can actually handle two streams at the same time on two computers. <laughs> but yeah, because because I cause I, 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 I want to because I try to help with I help try to help with supporting as many different people as I can. Basically, the only reason I wasn't watching the stream the moose stream today. Was because uh, I don't want Pokemon spoilers. I've not touched it. I don't want spoilers. I own it, and I should probably uh, play it. I, I, I revealed a little bit. You have, but not, like that means nothing to me I since I don't know. Uh, a huge... Yeah, but like I said, that means basically nothing to me until uh, I actually play it. So. Oh, you're 
be a little, you probably, you probably won't be too surprised at the, uh, head guy, but he's at, he's the, uh, the head of a corporation. I see. So, that's kind of a, uh, a, a, a recycled idea. Oh, let's make the bad guy a bad, uh, a gym leader. The, the CEO of a corporation. Uh, it wasn't a gym. It was a, he was the head of a corporation. Like Giovanni, basically. Yeah. He kind of remind. He remind you of a, a set a husband from the, the Adams family. Let's it's, see. He basically reminded you of Gomez. This part, this, here's the fourth part, finally. How's he doing now? Oh my god! He's gigantic. Uh, look, look, G, for, for crying, for crying out loud, oh my god, you beat him, holy shit. I beat, I beat the fourth phase on my first try, I was impressed. <laughs> I was impressed with myself, because oh, wow. I was like... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that seems to be my pattern, but yeah, I, I just kept failing at that part, but I was able to get that last, I I had such a good run going in that I was able to basically accidentally take see a few hits. Up, I, see, you kept up the B average. Yeah, pretty much. Did Jimmy the Great. And here we go, walking around town now. My mom's explained the whole thing to my brother. Tent. Sorry, over. everybody, I got a lot. I got a lot going on, people. I have died 134 times by the time I, by the time after that boss. Oh my god. Uh, and I'm still uh, also uh, trying to figure uh, out. There's also still me trying uh, to figure uh, out. Yeah, I think I also I was sitting there being like, hold on, where is... Because I'm still confused about where the fourth guy of this group is. Like, I expected him maybe to be later on in the world, but at this point, I'm almost wondering if he's in World 3. Or something. But I'm not sure. I don't know, I mean, I've never played this at all, so, like I said, you know more about it than yeah. I do. And I and I only know what I've played so far. Okay, we're gonna take a we're gonna do a quick stop real fast to make sure the commentary is coming out right, and then I'll be and then we'll the viewer you the viewers will see nothing, but yeah. It's, it's gonna be weird hearing myself if I hear that commentary back to me. Yeah, probably. I want that's like the whole point. Is I want to make sure you're coming out good. Okay, one moment. Okay. And three, two, one, go. Alright. So, we now to the uh, second boss here. Um, a dragon. He goes raw. Um. And basically, uh, this. Another, another, another Disney movie I've seen before. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, this is all based off of the co classic. Uh, Disney style cartoons of like the 30s. I've, I've even noticed that in the pause menu, if you look at it, it says 1930 as the so-called copyright date of the of the st stuff. So basically, for right now, I realize this later. As you can tell from the rest of the video, this is what we're going to be fighting for the rest of the video here. Also, I hate this phase. Like no matter what, I hate this phase. But. Basically, from this point on, this is basically what um, we are going to be fighting for the rest of it. And this took me a while, and I ended up taking some breaks while fighting this boss. Which, you'll see some jump cuts, and that's basically me on long pauses. Basically being like, doing something else real fast while having the recording still going. Because I didn't want to break it up into multiple recordings while I was doing stuff. So, basically, I... Yeah, so basically I just cut, I've already cut out a bunch of those, otherwise it'd be like an hour and three minutes. 
Also, I want to talk about these guns because I've, I've made notes in the past about how this gun almost seems like one of the better ones and I'm not wrong, but actually some of the other guns do have their uses as we've seen the last time where um, Lynn basically gave me the brilliant idea of using the, uh, the, the triple gun, which I also was thinking about using for this fight. Um, we'll see that later. Because, I mean, it's still my secondary. And then also, this, but there, there's other issues with this boss that just seem awkward and annoying. Now, that big Kamehameha blast, you'd think that would have been the round where I would have beat him, but at least beat that face, but... Yeah, the Kamehameha blast did barely any damage to him, I swear. I think that uh, I hate how inconsistent that Kamehameha blast is damage wise. Here we go, here's where I've decided. Hey, let's use the triple gun. Also, just as a note. Yeah, like, your, your Kamehameha blast, yeah, uh, it didn't like a very accurate power gun. Hmm. Is, here's why I, I, I keep forgetting I can dash during this fight, too. But anyway, so I, I, I swapped over to my triple gun. Hoping it would do more damage. I didn't even get past the first phase. Or the second phase, really, but still. Um, I still call it the first phase. Because he didn't change up as anything besides throwing his tail in. Um, here we go, trying to get again. Trying to actually stay close because, I mean, it looked like he was doing a lot of damage. But the problem is, it just happened to be close. And yes, you can bounce off that last ring. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. It's like everything else in this game where it's like, hey, I can do a thing, but do I want to risk doing the thing, or do I want to just live? Because that is basically high risk, high reward type situation. Yeah, sometimes the risk isn't worth it. Yeah. That's why I don't go after the parry sometimes. I will do it if I can actually feel like it would actually help. And here's where I decide, you know what, let's go change up some stuff. Let's go see what I have else as options here. Um, the one I'm missing two guns. I'm missing the rebound shot, which I don't know how useful that would be, and I'm still missing the homing shot, for lack of a better thing. Oh, I think what I was looking for right there is I forgot that I didn't have the chaser shot yet, and I was actually looking for it. Because I had just seen, like, right before I started playing this, I had went, looked up, I randomly was watching just a little bit of somebody else playing through it, and they used the uh, chaser gun for, like, one of the early bosses. I didn't watch very much of it, but they used the chaser gun for one of the early bosses and uh, the first stage, and it seemed very useful. And in the back of my head, I'm just like, why did I not pick that gun? But then, at the same time, it's like, I know why I didn't pick that gun. It's because the thing basically says, oh, this weapon is weaker. Which, yes, it is, but DPS means way more than anything. Damage per second means way more than anything. I hate, hate that I forgot to dash again. And just having that, and also trying to spam the shot is a very bad idea. But this game is actually kind of smartly designed because honestly there's just times where it's like yes a certain weapon actually may work better against a boss than you think it would. Like like there's no like from what I can tell from actually playing this I don't think there's a one set gun that basically is the best gun for every situation. Except maybe the chaser gun unless there's The only one I could think of that might would be the chaser gun because yeah, like we're each situation. Yeah, each situation's its own beast. Yeah. Oh, one thing I hate about this boss: this entire boss fight's on clouds, and clouds count as a. Uh, and you can see right there where I shot downward. It's because I was trying to duck because where his head is like, where his neck is like a little bit too low. Some of the clouds just go right over him. Unless you're ducking. But then ducking has two problems. Yeah, so the boss fights were like... Uh, and if you choose another the, the ones, if you don't even matter, it's not going to be one of them. Uh, the boss fights are 
guys are like Resident Evil and all sorts of that. It's just, it's just has to be a plus fight. That's my opinion. Huh. Hello. Welcome to the commentary. Okay. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, do you want do uh, do you want a specific name for to bring up on YouTube here? Yeah. What would, you, what would you like to What would you like me to call you? Keanu. Okay, Keanu. Just call me. Uh, my, 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 my friends call me Gerald for short. Okay, Gerald. Okay. So, welcome to the commentary, Gerald. Um. Basically, yeah, this boss is this this boss is a pain, but um, basically, yeah, I was just like all the weapons have their own uses, and the worst part about this fight is the fact that uh, throughout it you have basically the the clouds. Oh yeah, but no, what what the worst part about this boss? Is the fact that you, ducking is actually useful at certain parts, especially when using this gun. And then, yeah. um, yeah. when you duck, these platforms uh -huh. count as half platforms, the ones you can jump through. Yeah. Like, it's true. True. And then, but yeah, you jump through the platform, and then sometimes I'm ducking, and then I would try to hit. The, I'll, I'll use my special, and then my special will just shoot downward, and that's usually, and that's what happens sometimes during this fight. Yeah. So. That sucks. I am sorry to hear that, Doc. I can't see the stream because my internet says, oh, we, we had to lower the quality because of the network issues. Oof. Basically saying, oh, we're, we're dumb. Yeah, I have that issue too okay, sometimes. Yeah. I have that issue. I have a little caution alert that says, oh, your network. Yeah, apparently the, my network connection is causing a decrease in video in quality. Oof. So, I can't see what you're doing. I can I'm, only hear you. I am shooting a dragon. That, that's basically it. For the next, I don't know how many minutes. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Oh. Still, yeah, I still have yet to make it to... The boss was just under 19 minutes. The rest was dragon. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, we finally, finally for the first time... Beat the second phase, and now we get to see the three-headed dragon form, which is obnoxious. Yeah, the three-headed dragon. Because you wanted to see the movies or something like that. Uh, I played Resident Evil Four, and it was pretty stunning. Yeah, pretty much. Suck. Yeah. That that part that part took me off guard because I was I was almost expecting the breathing fire, but. I didn't know where he was going to breathe fire. Yeah. So it was quite the hassle. Okay. Okay. I also made. Um, I played Resident Evil Remake and Ritual. It was like so many times. Um, those games are those games are pretty fun. I need to play them more, but I also need to own a couple of them because I've only owned. I have the three remake now. Out of like that. Um. Oh, <laughs> I can't play it right now, unfortunately, but I have it. I have it for PS4, but I can't play it because my ex has my PS4, so. Um, and for anybody that's, um. Maybe from my old, uh, uh, basically used to watching these videos before, my ex was the person that used to be on here with me all the time. Oh, that's, 
that's why um the your ass was like bodily. I, I can see you again. Yay. I don't usually watch um Resident Evil games. I only watch the remake once. Um if you want to see the the some oh, great reconnection flow again. Aw. Oh my god. Um, oh. Doc was basically saying earlier that he, he has, like, basically the basic of internet. Yeah. Also, the tongue is not a platform. Just for anybody wondering that, that's not played this game. The tongue is not a platform. That took me by surprise, I think probably a handful of times until I realized I was just falling through the tongue. But yeah. Um, let's see. But yeah, I have that game, but my ex has the PS4, so I can't play that. But also, because of that, if anybody that's actually on my YouTube that was actually watching some of my older series, or not really older series, but like any of my, uh, series is that I was trying to start before um before I started basically putting my stream before I started streaming like the last batch of videos I did like last year they are pretty much on permanent they're they're they're, they're done for now until I stream them basically because again they have like the footage I have is still with her in it um, this was a bad idea. <laughs> that was yeah. a bad idea. I realized how detrimental that was. So, anybody who hears me, if you don't hear me, you get to realize it's because of the crappy internet connection I have. I, am, I appreciate my mom getting it and paying you for it. But it's not, it's not her fault. It's Xfinity. Blame Comcast. Yeah, we. Yeah. yeah. It's probably big. It's because it's big. Yeah, it, it's not big. It. It's the. It's apparently it, the. It's it, it, it barely. It, it's barely big enough to do a. Uh, the must be. To do a stream. Uh, watching a stream. Twitch. Yeah. Or a game. I'm, I'm surprised I can do Netflix. <laughs> Don't ask me how I can do Netflix. I don't even do Netflix. I watch Branch. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a, friend, a friend of mine that lived in Florida, she let me this, she let me use her uh, spare Netflix account because she hardly used it. Nice. So, might as well take advantage of it. But yeah, this boss, I hate these, these, the fire attack here. They're, it's just so yeah. random and catches me off guard because I don't know when it's going to bounce up. Yeah, it was more to like it took a medical damage. And it's not like I took a medical damage or rage a lot. I don't usually rage. It was so bigger than I'm usually I'm usually pretty cool headed too sometimes unless I get unless it gets really bad. Yeah. That was one of my best runs so far. I was about to quit the whole game, but I meant to exit to the map because I was like, you know what, I need to fix a few things. No, oh, well, I think Doc might be out of the. I think Doc's internet basically gave up on him. Are you kidding me? No, because I just seen two messages pop up saying he he's sorry and he tried. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what was this? Oh, there they are. I was like doing a fan dummy. No, I just got a copyright. I this is not. I copy. You want to subscribe? I know. I want to tell you all sorts of things. Is it that really embarrassing to you? 
<laughs> yeah. So you're saying you had gotten a, a random copyright strike or something? Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. I was doing a, yeah, my first, the, the first band up, uh, uh, was pretty sucks. It, it is not usually, but I can sing a lot in my channel, but in real life, it doesn't matter. I see. Well, if you if you want to go ahead, I mean, at some point you could always add a promote yourself. You can actually put it on the promote yourself tab on my Discord. If yeah. you want to advertise it, I mean, that's fine. I mean, that's why I keep putting my uh, archive videos on there. Well, not on the promote yourself, but on my the archive video segment to show which ones I've actually ar yeah. archived. Okay, well, so, basically back to this boss, as I was trying to say, you can jump through the, the clouds. I think I was trying to bring that up like six times, but you can jump through the clouds by hitting down and jump, which sucks. And I think actually cost me a couple times, because I was trying to, or ducking, and I was like, okay, I'm going to jump to the next cloud, and I just jumped through the cloud. I think this is the point, it's just the point where I decide I'm going to try a different weapon or try a different secondary weapon because I was like, you know what, I'm tired of something here. here I, I accidentally hit the wrong button. Oh, this is where I try this. I forgot, I tried this first. So I was actually like, how good is the charge shot? Only thing with the charge shot for me is this would have to be a good weapon to use on somebody that doesn't stay on screen that often. That is the only thing about this weapon is it's it's decent. It does a good amount of damage, but like it basically has that problem of basically being like, oh hey, we uh. It, it, like, it, since it doesn't stay, uh, like, it, since it takes a minute to charge, you're kind of losing out on DPS. Also, that, that, that special sucks. I mean, it probably does a good amount of damage, but it just sucks, because, I mean, it doesn't do anything for you in the long run. I mean, it, it, like, you have to be, like, really close, and if you're that close, well, then... And you could pro if you could be that close to use that attack, the triple shot would do way better. There's me forgetting to do dash again. Woohoo! Me continuously forgetting dash. Amazing. But yeah. Um. Basically, and now I was actually checking out the DPS of this because I was like, how good is this if I just mash it? And then the problem was, that since I was focusing on mashing it, I lost focus and kept getting hit. And it didn't seem like I was doing that good. So I was just like, okay, what other guns do I have? And then I was like, oh, also checking out through my uh, abilities as well. For a second, on my charms. Oh, who came back? Hello, welcome back. Well, when I started the use on the receiver, I wanted to work myself. My channel that I use it to your Discord, mm -hmm. and I wanted to share thoughts on my Discord server too as well. I Ellie see. just got uh, Ellie, my girlfriend, got 
27 more subscribers, and I really hope she'll grow. I hope so too. Yeah. That would be lovely. I'm kind of hoping a lot of my friends on here will grow as, like, people that can actually do good streams. And also, here's the point where we find out that this is the best gun to use against this boss. Yeah. Obviously, because I can stay on the higher ground. I can focus on dodging the little guys. I don't have to... I don't have to do anything else. I can use yeah. the invincibility if I need to. The invincibility was kind of useful in this because, yeah, but... I sometimes made the mistake of thinking the invincibility lasted longer than it, it did. But, yeah. But then I can stay up here. And staying up here against this phase is really nice. Because of that flamethrower attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was like, using the flamethrower uh, from zombies from Resident Evil. It has crystal heads. Do you heard about them? I don't think so. I've yeah. not played that many Resident Evil games honestly I need to but I've not actually I, I mean I've kind of looked into a lot of them my brother used to play them. my my older brother used to play them all the time when I was growing up like I seen I seen like Resident Evil like two and three so many times it was ridiculous mostly two Oh yeah, actually, yeah. It's, it's like it, it, it basically went from B movie quality to actually quality, basically. Jill, go and open that door. <laughs> you were about to be a Jill sandwich. <laughs> also, in the remake, Rusker said, "Jill, no, I don't want you to go back out there." Yeah. <laughs> I was playing the game. <laughs> I was like playing the game so many times. I searched. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, as we can tell now, this weapon right here for this boss, way better. Because, yeah. Um, basically, like I said, I can stay up on higher platforms, we can do that, I can try to dodge, I can hopefully not die, I'm still going to die anyway, because, well, you know, just, sometimes just bad at the, doing simple things, sometimes you get unlucky, most of the times it's just I get unlucky, like that. There's a random fireball coming up right behind me. I did not know how to dodge that. Oh, and this is the point where you'll see random jumps in the editing. And that is because of the, um, like I said, I took a few breaks. And I was trying to actually, like, talk to some people and stuff of that nature. So, that, like, it just took me a moment. I just edited out all the long pauses. I didn't edit out any of my deaths. You know, just in case somebody out there was crazy enough to count how many times I've died in this, which not even necessary because it's the guy that literally t says how many times I die. So honestly, it's not even necessary. But just to show all 130 some of my deaths, since I mean in the live stream you'd see all the deaths anyway. So it's basically I was trying to supplement this as if it was trying to be the live stream, but I couldn't. The problem is, is my old computer. Uh, not my old. My old computer is the only one that works. That's the big problem. But my new computer, it can play these levels. Like, my old computer couldn't play these levels at all. Like, I tried. But my new computer could play these levels just fine, as we can see. But I couldn't do commentary while on my new computer. Sorry. Yeah. So... That is why we're basically doing this post-commentary thing. Oh, gosh. Because my oh, my new computer, for some reason, has this issue where it's like, hey, let's, um, 
like it had a mic. Like there was a mic inside the the the, the, the computer. Okay. Use mine. But there's a mic inside the computer. It's a laptop. Laptops usually come with mics. Yeah. Yada yada. Um. So there's a mic. It was working because I was using it for a couple of streams. It worked. I even used it to record one like playthrough and stuff. It worked just fine. It was kind of iffy, but it still worked. But then, um. A BIOS update happened, and for some reason, after the BIOS update, after that, it basically just was like, hey, let's, uh, it just doesn't even have the option anymore. The only option it has now, even when I plug in a headphone with a microphone, it just doesn't even have the option for that either. It just has the option to record from the uh, speakers. And that's it. Uh huh. good. I've actually played that one. Me and my ex actually had, me and my ex actually had done a, when we first got the game, we technically had gotten up to, uh, we, we beat the whole game, but we took turns because she was, she was struggling with certain bits and I kind of took over and ended up helping. Basically, especially well, toward the end, because the end of that game is rough. Yeah. It, it basically is like, hey, let's stop being a horror game and let's just go into being a full on, straight up action game. Are you serious? Well, like the last level are like just basically almost enemy gauntlets. The last level was like so many times you had to go around and do some like shit. And was like so many times you know, I saw the injured light thing try to run and then and then and I was so freaking mad I was like laughing so hard you do to the injured leg so yeah yeah but yeah don't get me wrong I'm very watch people with it with Tyler Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna have to climb this ladder without enjoying the family. Yeah. But, yeah, that was, uh... That, that, that's basically the, like, the... That, that, that game's pretty fun. I kind of liked it. I kind of like certain aspects of that game. I don't usually play a lot of horror games because I kind of my my bread and butter turns out to be more of like games kind of like this as platformers. I mean, I grew up with Mega Man. I grew up with Mega Man as a kid. I grew up with stuff like that. Like I grew up with uh like the, the one of the earliest games I can remember playing a lot was I grew up with like 
uh, Mario All-Stars for the Super Nintendo. Um, Aladdin was one of the first games I think I beat. Might have been the first game I beat next to Mario 2. Yeah. And then, um, basically, I played, like, a lot of the Mega Man games that were, like, Mega Man X7, or mostly Mega Man X7 and Mega Man, uh, 7. No, no, okay, no. Mega Man X1 and Mega Man 7. I was mixing that up. There is a Mega Man X7, but I played that way later, obviously. But, like, Mega Man 7 and Mega Man X. Yeah. Those were games I literally grew up on a lot, and I enjoyed playing them every time, except for when I got to the Wily levels. Because, like, every time I got to the Wily levels, I didn't understand why it'd give me a separate password. You didn't realize what? Uh, I, 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 I just want to realize about the boss fights, including night, fight, night fights at Freddy's. You know that um, there's a same trilogy that comes with a sister location, help wanted, and special delivery. Hmm. Huh. So, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. I've actually, I mean, I actually did play a bit of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's beforehand, as we can see by the my my original channel here. I did, I had like played, we tried playing a bunch of them on here. Um, but I've not, I don't think I've played anything past Five Nights Four personally. I would like to get Help Wanted though. Help Wanted looks real good. Especially since it's basically just oh, hold on one moment. Hold on everybody. Okay. Well, I had to step away and while I was gone uh, hey, The Keanu decided to leave while I was gone for a moment. So we'll just finish off talking about the uh, Boss as is here He's annoying. <laughs> I think it's pretty much the synthesis of this boss I'm Fighting for a while now. This phase is still the worst in my opinion Because of that because it's like, just shit like that all the time. Just ugh. Just sudden, hey, let's just randomly have a fireball just pop up and kill you in instant. It's like, gosh dang it. It's annoying. And then we have the three headed dragon. This phase is only bad because of the fire. Like, this, the, 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 the four way shot fire. That's about the only part that seems to be a problem. And, um... Yeah. To me, because it's, it's tricky to dodge that. And, and basically, in one, in one aspect about this level, which... Honestly, doesn't kill me as often as it... Pro like... It, it, is, it doesn't bother me. Because I don't mind things like this. But it is tricky. I mean, this is almost my bread and butter, but at the same time, I've always hated boss. Which, at least this boss is not one of those bosses that if you fall into the pit, it's just instant game over. It takes a hit. So it's like, okay, well, I can just take the hit if I fall and stuff like that. Because I hated one boss of Mega Man X6 that can just go die in a hole, and I'm going to have to fight him one day for a stream, because why not? But... I hated the second to final boss of Mega Man X6 with a passion. Because just the fact that his entire boss fight gimmick is basically just, hey, let's have a big fight over a bottomless pit. Also, I kind of hated that in Mega Man X7, because that was also a gimmick of one of the bosses that, like a lot of the bosses of that game actually, which took me a while to get used to because like a lot of bosses in that game had bottomless pits in the arena design which was annoying in Mega Man X7 but like mostly like in Mega Man X6 there's just like, literally a bunch of bottomless pits and this dude teleported wherever he wanted to shot projectiles at you 
And the only person I could fight him with is Zero. And I don't know if you could even fight. Like, I don't even know how it's even possible to get to that boss as uh, X. I have to find out. I'm actually very curious about that. It's a pure stupidity at this point. Boom. It's like a good run going so far. Oh, it's over. I had a feeling this might have been the good run because I was just walking in there with four health and I was like, yeah. That much health going into the final phase, that has to be the knockout run. Okay. And it's over. We did it. Well, I did. Oh, well, you yeah. know. That's it. That's pretty much the end of the... of this video. Thank you all for showing up. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, there's just like a little bit left of me just walking around town here, but... For the most part, we're done here. We beat Grim Matchstick. I think that was the first time I've noticed that that rainbow bridge technically pops up. Um, we've defeated Grim Matchstick, and now we have access to this, which I will do next time I do a stream. Uh, when I do my next stream, I shall start here, and we shall... Um, basically see how that goes. And if anything happens, I'll do another supplementary video like this. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Love you all. Have a wonderful day.